arms back, allow your eyes to soften. Maybe your forehead falls down towards the mat. If it's floating in space, no worries. But just take a moment to be here. Whatever happened prior to stepping on your mat this morning, see if you can surrender that, let that go. And then whatever plans or excitement or anxieties you have for the future, anything that might be pulling you off of your mat, drawing your attention forward, trust that it'll be there for you when you're ready. Choose to be here. I want you to come and bring your attention into the body and we'll do this by focusing in on the breath. So I just want you to take a few breaths here in your child's pose without changing or manipulating anything. Just start to notice the breath. See if you can slow it down. And then I want you to take a big exhale here, send your air out. Inhale, breathe in through your belly, ribs, chest, expansive inhale, hold at the top here for four, three, two, on one, exhale, press it out, chest, ribs, belly, empty all the way down. Begin again, inhale, breathe in, fill up, belly, ribs, chest, all the way to the top of your throat, hold here for four, exhaling out in three, two, on one, exhale, release, empty out all the way down. One more time, inhale, breathe in, fill up, belly, ribs, chest. Allow the breath to be really expansive. Hold at the top of the throat here for four, three, two. On one, exhale, empty out, let it go, emptying all the way down. Gently start to walk your fingertips over towards the top right corner of your mat. I want you to press your left hand into the mat, stretch it really far. So maybe even your hand comes off the mat. You can bring your right hand back underneath your right shoulder or keep it up near your left. And then I want you to actively press through the base of the left palm, hug your left shoulder back in space and get a really nice long stretch through the left side body. Breathing here for four, three, two, Last inhale here, fill up. Then gently start to walk your fingertips over towards the top left corner of your mat. This time your right hand extends long. Think about plugging your right hip back in space, anchoring through the base of your right palm. And then see if you can pull isometrically. So that means nothing is actually moving in the base of your hand, but think about pulling your right shoulder back in space, breathing into your left, right side body here for four. Thinking about creating space through each individual rib. We have these intercostal muscles, muscles that knit your ribs together. Think about breathing into there. We're here for two. Last inhale here, fill up. Exhale, walk your hands back towards center. Gently walk your hands back underneath the shoulders and we'll rise to a tabletop position on your back. When you arrive in tabletop position, I want you to spread your fingertips wide, hug your belly up and in towards your spine, untuck the toes for a minute, stacking knees over your hips. So I'm just on my mat. From here, actively hug your belly button in, inhale, drop your belly for cow pose. And we'll sink into this slowly. So think about pulling your belly towards the ground at the same time, shoulder blades pull together, your collarbones spread apart. You're gonna shift your chin forward and then maybe trace your gaze up towards the ceiling. As you're in this shape, I want you to think about actively pressing through your pinkies, turning the soft spots of your elbows forward. Big inhale here. Exhale, cat pose, exhale and breathe here. Dome out through the shoulders, hug your belly button in towards your spine. Actively press your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Imagine like you're creating space underneath them. At the same time, tailbone hugs under. On your next inhale, ripple forward, cow pose, open your heart. Exhale, actively press the floor away for cat. One more time like that. Inhale, open your heart, cow pose. Exhale, press back for cat. Inhale, come to a neutral tabletop. Turn your fingertips out to three and nine o'clock on the mat. So your thumbs are gonna be facing forward, hands out to the side. From here, we're gonna start to trace some circles around on the palms. 
this range of movement will be pretty small. Um, just because our wrists are in a non-neutral position, we spend like 99% of our day switch directions moving around on our feet. So before we get into vinyasa practice, which can be really intensive into the wrists, we're just gonna give them a little bit of love. Pause here, turn the soft spots of your wrists forward. Fingertips are gonna reach back towards your knees. And maybe you just stay here. As you stay here, I want you to look down at your palms. I want you to be really broad across the base of the palm as the fingertips reach out. And maybe you tuck the toes and hug your hips slightly back in space. The moment your palm starts to peel up off of the mat, press back down, breathing here for four. Three. Two, on one, keeping your palms where they are, bring your shoulders back over your wrists. Inhale, cow pose, heart pulls through with your wrists where they are, actively pull the heart forward. Exhale, press the shoulders up and back, cat pose. Inhale, ripple forward, cow, open the heart. Exhale, press back to cat. One more time, inhale, open cow. Exhale, press back for cat. Come to a neutral spine, unwind your hands and then sit back to your heels. You can tuck the toes or untuck them, reach your fingertips overhead. We're gonna take some starburst through the hands, open and closing. See if you can move as fast as possible as you're here. Be really active, tuck the ribs down, tuck the tailbone under, reach and extend straight through the hands. We're gonna breathe here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, on one, pause here, inhale, activate through the arms, reach them up, exhale, baby back bend, cactus arms, open the chest, inhale, hands pull the heart center, interlace the fingers, exhale, press your grip away from you, cat back, inhale, fingertips reach high, open the chest, exhale, cactus arms, baby back bend. Inhale, hands fold to heart center. One more time. Exhale, press your grip away from you. Dome out through the shoulders. Find that cat back. Inhale, we rise. Peel the chest open. Exhale, cactus your arms. Baby back bend. Really nice. Hands pull to heart center. Come back to your tabletop position. We're going to start to activate through a little bit of core work here. Grounding through the left hand, I want you to stretch your right arm forward to the front of your space. Tucking the right toes, I want you to reach your left foot back. So we're not floating yet, but I want you to hug your right shoulder back in line with your left, both hips squared to the mat, reaching your right fingertips forward, and then start to float your left leg up off of the ground. Think about hugging your inner thighs together, being really active through this left glute, but keeping two hips in one line. So if you had uh, head beams on your hips. Both of them will be pointed down towards the floor. Take an inhale here. Exhale, crunch cat back, elbow to knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. A few more like that. Inhale, find your length, activate through the core. Exhale, everything pulls in towards center. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, everything towards center. Last round, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, everything comes to touch. Inhale, lengthen, breathe here. From here, hug your right elbow out to the side and we're gonna start to reach the left foot out wide and bring it down onto the mat. So we'll look like this from the side. From here with your left foot out wide, Grounding through the left hand, take an inhale, right arm peels up high towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, maybe even look up towards your right fingertips, big inhale. Exhale, thread the needle, right hand reaches underneath of your left. Some options here, you can float the head, you can reach the left hand forward. Maybe you bring your right temple down to the mat. You choose wherever you are. I want you to take an inhale here, think about lengthening through the spine. On your exhale, twist, bring your right bottom rib closer towards your belly button. Bring the left hand back underneath the shoulder. If it left, inhale, peel yourself open, open the chest. Exhale, thread the needle just for a moment, send it through. One more time, inhale, open, squeeze the shoulder blades together, shoulder stack. Exhale, sweep it through. 
This time, inhale, peel, open. Right hand is gonna come back to the mat. We're gonna float the left leg back in space and parallel the left leg with the mat. Start to bend through the left heel, or sorry, the left knee. And we're gonna start to add some pulses here into the left glute. Tuck your tailbone under, pull your belly button in towards your ribs. We're gonna breathe here, pulsing. We're here for eight. Seven, starting to warm up a little bit into the back line body. In yoga, we do a lot of stretching through the back body. Um, and we're just going to power up our glutes here because these are going to help power movement today. We're going to breathe here for four, three, two, on one. Stretch the left foot out, ground through the left toes. Inhale, three legged dog, reach the right foot up high towards the ceiling. Create a micro bend in the left knee, square your hips to the mat, press actively through the L shape of your pointer finger and your thumb. See if you can pull your chin in towards your chest, big inhale here. Exhale, hinge forward, high plank, both feet ground. Press your heels towards the back of the room, pull your belly button up and in towards your spine. Think about driving your chin slightly forward so we have these equal and opposite forces as your heels reach back. The crown of your head reaches forward, breathing here for four, three, two, on one, press back, downward facing dog. First downward facing dog of class, don't worry, we're gonna even out on the other side. From in your first downward facing dog, I want you to find your feet about hip width distance apart. Create a micro bend in the knees and then reach your tailbone a little bit higher towards the ceiling. From here, if you'd like to send your heels down, you can, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be completely straight through the back line. Think about hugging your chin towards your chest, pressing your shoulder blades back towards the back of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ripple forward, high plank, and then lower down to your knees, tabletop. So we're gonna flow through that sequence on the other side, this time grounding through the right hand, left arm floats out in front of you, square both shoulders to the mat, and then start to extend through the right leg. From here, when you're ready, pressing into the left shin, start to hover the right leg parallel with the ground. Take an inhale here, press your right heel back, reach your left fingertips forward, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Three more like that. Inhale, lengthen really strong through the back line body, strong through the core. Exhale, everything drive center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, everything presses. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Find that space. Exhale, tap. This time, inhale, lengthen, hold here. Left arm comes out to the side. Sweep your right leg out to the side. When you're ready, inhale, left arm sits up high towards the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, thread the needle. Left hand sweeps underneath the right. Some options here. You can stay lifted. You can bring the left temple to the ground. Maybe you crawl your right fingertips forward. Think about lengthening your tailbone back. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, twist. One more breath like that, inhale, fill up. Exhale, twist and release. Bring the right hand back underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, peel yourself open. Exhale, thread the needle just for a moment. One more time, inhale, open up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, open, then left hand finds its way to the mat, tuck the left toes. Inhale, three-legged dog when you're ready, right foot sweeps up high towards the ceiling. Find a moment here, bend through the left knee, square both hips. We're gonna switch it out because we didn't do this on the other side. So grounding through the right foot this time, reach the left foot high, just evening out both hips square to the ground. Take an inhale here, exhale, send it out. Inhale, ripple forward high, plank breathe here. We've been here before. I want you to lower down this time to your knees and we're gonna warm up through the upper body with a little bit of a tricep push-up warm up. So from here, I want you to find one solid 45 degree angle line from your knees all the way through your core, through your chest. See if you can bring your hips in line with your shoulders. From here, inhale, hinge forward past your fingertips. Exhale, lower down, take your chaturanga. So we're gonna take a few rounds here, breathing here for four. Lowering down, shoulders don't come lower than 90. We're here for three, two, 
on one, hips reach back in space, lowering down to the mat. We rise back up again. We're gonna add in that glute activation on the right. So lengthening through the right leg, start to bend your right knee up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna take those small pulses, activating through the core, hugging the belly button up and in. We breathe here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, tucking the left toes, inhale, right foot reaches high, exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale in your downward facing dog, fill up, exhale, let it go. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank, we've been here before. Today, as we move through your vinyasas, there will be some options. You can stay on your toes as you hinge forward, you can lower to your knees. From here, inhale to hinge forward, exhale, lower chaturanga, elbows brush in by the sides. This can also be done on your toes, you choose. From here, we're gonna lower all the way down to the mat, hands stay underneath the shoulders. Inhale, baby cobra and breathe here. Your legs are zipping together, hands are underneath the shoulders, pull your shoulder blades together. I want you to think about broadening through the collarbones, like your collarbones are reaching out in opposite directions. We breathe here for three. See if you can float your hands, we're here for two. On one, lower all the way down to the mat. Tuck the toes or knees, press up to high plank. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. So that's gonna be our chaturanga vinyasa today. Feel free to switch it up, feel free to add things up. We're gonna practice that one more time. Come up onto the toes, inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes all the way to the mat, inhale. Open the chest, baby cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Last time, I promise we'll practice that. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down all the way to the mat, or if you want it, chaturanga, hovering the knees, 90 degree angle and the elbows. Inhale, baby cobra, like we practiced before, or upward facing dog, chest pulls through, shoulders pull back and down your spine. Just bringing the belly button up and in wherever you are, press up and back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. One more breath like that, inhale. Exhale, send it out. Look to the top of your mat, come up onto your toes. And we're gonna take little baby steps to bring your feet to meet your hands. See if you can slow this down, maybe just setting one toe in front of the other, walking slowly to the top of your mat, eventually arriving in ragdoll pose. So ragdoll is like forward fold, just a little bit wider. I want you to hinge at the hips, bend through the knees, maybe grab for opposite elbows, sway back and forth here. In your ragdoll pose, I want you to think about narrowing the gap between your ribs and your thighs. Maybe you grab behind the thighs, maybe opposite elbows. Wherever you are, whatever tension you're holding on to in your neck, face, or jaw, see if you can tuck your chin in towards your chest and allow that tension to just melt off and down towards the floor. Whatever you're holding on to in your jaw, your face, we tend to hold a lot of stress there. Let that shit go. From here, gently release your bind if you have it. Draw your fingertips to your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the crown of your head forward, really active through the spine. I want you to hug your shoulders up by your ears and then press them back and down your spine. So we have this really long, long spine, really active through the core. One more inhale here. Exhale, fold down, let it go. One more time like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the crown of your head forward. Exhale, melt it down. This time, no grip on the hands. Tucking the tailbone, inhale, we'll slowly rise to stand, head and neck come up last. Press the hips forward, open through the chest on your inhale, fingertips sweep up high towards the ceiling. Mountain pose. Some options here, you can bring your hands to touch. You can uh, spiral your pinkies in wherever you are. I want you to actively press the hips forward, open the chest, take a big inhale here. Exhale, cactus the arms, baby back bend. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, swan dive, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. 
inhale to hinge forward, drop knees or toes, lower down chaturanga or all the way to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. If you're in upward facing dog, four points of contact to the tops of your feet, your hands, thighs and glutes are floating up off the ground. Big inhale here, exhale, press back downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, fill up, exhale, let it go. This is our stun A. We're gonna flow through this moving one breath to one movement. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop your feet to meet your hands forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, melt down. Inhale, rise mountain pose, fingertips sweep up high towards the ceiling. Exhale, cactus your arms, baby back bend, open the chest, lead with your heart. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, adding on here, knees or toes, hinge forward. Exhale, lower down. We're gonna add zero to five push-ups. Option to stay in high plank. We're here, we're breathing here for three, two. On one, lower all the way down to the mat. This time, fingertips sweep out to about 10 and two o'clock if we're imagining our mat as a clock up onto the fingertips zip the legs together it's three rounds of oscillating cobra so first round we're going to pull the shoulder blades together heart pulls through open the chest take an inhale exhale lower down two more rounds like that inhale peel the chest open look forward exhale slowly melt it down last round inhale open the chest exhale lower down Hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, press up high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, bend your knees, step or hop your feet to meet your hands forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, mountain pose, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, cactus your arms, baby back bend. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back high, plank hold here. Option to add zero to 10 push ups, knees or toes. You choose, these are just as valid. Maybe no push ups are just as valid. We're here, we breathing here for seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, press back downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes, inhale, ripple forward, high plank, see if you can slow it down. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, exhale, let it go. Rounding through your left foot, inhale, right foot sweeps high towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Square both hips to the ground, activate through your right glute. See if you can lift your right foot a little bit higher. Exhale, drive right knee towards right tricep and hold here. Activate through the shoulders. See if you can press the ground actively away from you, breathing here for three. Starting to turn the heat on here for two. On one, inhale, extend, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right knee hugs up and in towards your chest and steps through to your big, your big toe steps to your thumb. I wanna say big thumb, I guess. Some of us have bigger thumbs than others. <laughs> From here, lower down onto your left shin. We rise Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. So in your Anjaneyasana, I want you to hug your right hip back, left hip forward, sink low into your right heel, and then pull your thumbs towards the back of your mat. Breathe into the shape, take a big inhale here. Exhale, baby back bend cactus, the arms open the chest. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, baby back bend. One more like that, inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, fingertips sweep high, tuck your back toes. Exhale, we rise high, crescent lunge. Square your right hip, pull it back, left hip forward, sink low into your right heel. See if you can find a 90 degree bend in your right knee. From here, I want you to think about bending slightly through your left knee, pulling your shoulders back over your hips. 
fingertips extend overhead and then pressing your left foot back to find that balance. Take one more inhale here, chest opens. Exhale, warrior two. Back foot comes parallel with the short edge of your mat, keeping that 90 degree bend in your front knee. Tucking the tailbone, fingertips reach out in opposite directions, breathe into this shape. You've probably been in warrior two a million times if you practice yoga, but I want you to think about the integrity of this posture. Can you sink a little bit lower into your front knee? Keep the tailbone tucked, fingertips reach out in opposite directions and play around with stacking, making sure your shoulders are over your hips. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse for your lower body stays exactly the same. Sinking low into your right heel, right hand extends back behind you. Take one more inhale as you reach back. Exhale, extended side angle, right tricep comes to the inside of your right thigh. Left arm extends overhead, some options here. Maybe your left arm reaches towards the front of the room. Maybe it just reaches up towards the ceiling. Wherever you are, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Focus more on opening through the upper body then reaching down towards the ground. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, straighten through your front leg, reverse triangle. Press your hips towards the front of your mat. Reach up and back with your right hand. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, pivot, plant your hands, low lunge to the top of your mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, right foot sweeps up and back. When you're ready, hinge forward, high plank. Breathe here. From here, press back downward facing dog. Take an inhale to fill up, exhale, let it go. We're gonna lower down onto your right forearm and then onto your left forearm for dolphin pose. In dolphin pose, you can bend your knees as much as you'd like. Think downward facing dog on your forearms. Forearms can be parallel or maybe they create a triangle shape interlacing your fingers. You choose, we breathe here for eight. Hug your chin in towards your chest, look back to your toes here for seven. Six, five, four, three, two on one. Press into your right hand, then into your left hand, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your mat or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Heart pulls through. You choose the opener. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Grounding through the right foot, inhale, left foot floats high, three-legged dog. Activate through the left glute, flex through the left foot, big inhale as you reach up. Exhale, drive the left knee toward the left tricep. Actively press the shoulders away, think cat back here. Breathing here for three. Heel hugs in towards your glute, we're here for two. On one, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee hugs in, look towards your left thumb, left foot steps to left thumb. Ground through the right knee, right shin. Inhale, we rise. Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Hug the right hip forward, left hip back. Fingertips reach up high towards the ceiling. Big inhale as you breathe into your right hip flexor. Exhale, cactus your arms, baby back bend. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, baby back bend. One more time, inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, fingertips sweep high, tuck your back toes, we rise, high crescent lunge. Same opportunities for adjustment here. So we're hugging the left hip back, right hip forward, exploring that 90 degree bend in your left knee. Maybe bring your little micro knee into the right so we can stack shoulders over hips from here. Then you start to drive your right foot towards the back of your mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, sink. One more breath like that. Inhale, find your length. Exhale to explore the depth. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, warrior two, spiral open. Take a moment to look down at your feet. We're looking for either heel to arch or heel to heel alignment. So feel free to adjust there. Continue to sink into your front knee. As your knee goes forward, it also presses out towards the top left corner of your mat. Fingertips reach out in opposite directions. Gaze shifts over your middle fingers. Palms slip up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lower body stays exactly the same. Find your fingertips with your gaze. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Left tricep to the inside of your left thigh. Spiral your right hip back behind your left. Reach up with your left hand. Your right hand more than you reach down with your left. Big inhale here. 
Exhale, extended side angle, straighten through the left leg, press your hips forward, reach up and back. Big inhale through your left side body. Exhale, pivot, plant your hands low, lunge. Inhale here, exhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Lower down onto your left forearm, then down onto your right dolphin pose. Breathing here for eight counts of breath. Again, you can bite a little micro bend into the knees, hug your chin towards your chest as you press your ch chest towards the back of the mat. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, on one, press into your left arm, then your right downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat or chaturanga. Inhale, your heart opener, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. This is our standing series today. So we're gonna flow through this moving one breath to one movement. Grounding to the left foot, inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right knee drives to tap left, right tricep. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right foot steps through right thumb. Grounding through the left knee. Inhale, we rise, low crescent. Exhale, baby back bench. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, back bend. One more time. Inhale, we open up. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, high crescent, tuck the back toes. We rise, fingertips reach high. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, right hand sweeps up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, straighten, sorry, reverse triangle, straighten through the right leg, reach towards the back of the room. Exhale, pivot, plant your hands low, lunge. We're gonna add on from here. Grounding through the left hand, reach the right arm forward to the front of your room. Hug your right hip back, left hip forward. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you start to float the left fingertips forward as well. Breathing here for three, two, on one, ground through the left hand. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm sweeps high towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand grounds to the inside of your right foot. Three, legged dog, right foot sweeps up and back. Exhale, scorpion dog, right heel reaches over towards the left shoulder. Some options here. You can stay where you are, shoulder square to the mat. Maybe you wanna come up onto the right fingertip. Maybe you lower down to your left forearm to get a little bit more leverage, breathing wherever you are for three, two, on one, press back up, hinge forward, high plank, lower down your journey to downward facing dog, chaturanga to the mat, inhale, baby cobra, upward facing dog, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, exhale, let it go. Grounding through the right foot, let's flow left side, inhale, left foot floats high. Exhale, left knee drives to top, left tricep. Inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left foot steps to left thumb. Grounding through the right knee, inhale, we rise, low crescent. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, last time, baby back bend. Inhale, we rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, left hand sweeps up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straightening through the left leg, reach up and back. Exhale, pivot, plant your hands, low lunge. Breathe here. Drive your right heel back. As you hug the right hip forward, we're gonna ground through the right hand, left arm floats out in front. Maybe you wanna stay here. Maybe you start to float the right hand as well. Breathing here for three. Chin hugs in towards your chest, gazes at the mat. We're here for two. On one, grounding through the right hand. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm heels high towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand to the inside of your left foot. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, scorpion dog, bend and stack your knee over your hip. 
option to look under your left shoulder. Maybe you come up onto the left fingertips. Maybe you lower onto the right forearm, breathing wherever you are. We are here for three, two, on one, press back up, downward facing dog, hinge forward, high plank, lower all the way or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release. Grounding through the left foot. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right knee drives towards right tricep. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right foot steps to right thumb. Grounding through the left knee. We're gonna go one time only on our back bend this time. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, we rise high, crescent. Inhale, find your lift here. Exhale, spiral open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, pivot, plant your hands, low lunge. Adding on here. Left arm floats, sorry, right arm floats to the top. Maybe you stay here, maybe left arm floats as well. Hugging your chin in toward your chest, breathing here for three, two, on one. This time, left knee lowers to the mat. We reach back up, high crescent lunge. So we're gonna have an option here for Chandrasana lunge. As we move through this today, it, it's gonna feel a little bit intense. So I'm, I want you to start with your hands on the top of your knee. What this will look like, very similar to our low lunge, but the top of your foot is gonna be on the ground. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, actively press through the top of your left foot. You're hugging your right hip back, left hip forward. Hands can stay here, hands can come to the hips, hands can come overhead. We breathe here for four. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, reaching up through the hands or pressing down into your knee here for three, two. On one, left knee finds the mat, hands come to frame the right foot, half split, right hip drives back in space, left hip hugs forward. See if you can walk your hands underneath your shoulders, create a flat spine so we have a really nice halfway lift here. Instead of tucking the spine under, I want you to think about untucking it and clearing it back towards the ceiling. Take an inhale here, exhale, maybe chest lowers. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Start to bend through the right knee, tuck your back toes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, scorpion dog. Option to roll onto the left worm or just keep both hands down on the mat. We breathe here. We are here for three, two, on one. Hinge forward, high plank, lower your vinyasa all the way to the mat or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press up and back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Last side, left side. Inhale, left foot floats high. Exhale, left knee drives to left tricep. Inhale, left foot floats high. Exhale, left foot steps to left thumb. One time only for our back bend this time. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, we rise, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, left hand leads you up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your front leg, press your hips to the top of your mat. Big inhales, you reach up and back. Exhale, pivot, plant your hands, low lunge. Float your left hand forward, maybe your right as well. We breathe here for three. Trusting your lower body to hold you up. You can do this, we're here for two. Last inhale here. Exhale, left knee lowers to the mat. We rise, low crescent lunge, we've been here before. Hands come to the top of the thigh. Chandrasana on the left side. Pressing your right foot into the mat, take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, we rise, Chandrasana lunge. Option to keep hands here. Option to float hands overhead. We breathe here for four, three, two, on one. Right knee lands, hands come underneath shoulders, half split. 
in your half split. See if you can find a flat spine, walking hands underneath your shoulders, hugging the left hip back, right hip forward. Take an inhale here, exhale, lower down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through the spine. Exhale to drop into it. Start to crawl your fingertips forward, tuck your back toes, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, scorpion dog, sending your left heel over towards your right shoulder. Maybe you drop onto the right tricep, extending through the left fingertips, breathing here for three, two, on one. We press back up, hinge forward, high plank, lower all the way down to the mat. Sweep your palms towards the back of the mat. Turn your palms down towards the ground. Zip your legs together, a round of locust pose here. So on your inhale, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades, lift your chest up off the ground, gazes down at the mat. Exhale, squeeze your legs together. Think one long leg, mermaid tail, whatever moves you be in that shape. We breathe here for four. Reaching your fingertips towards the back, spreading the collarbones, lifting up, we're here for three. Lift up, go up for two. On one, lower all the way down to the mat. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Press back to a tabletop position. From here, start to walk your fingertips forward. We'll take puppy pose. Hips stay stacked over your knees. Maybe forehead comes to the mat. Maybe your chin. Maybe eventually one day your chest. Be at a place that feels like a good balance for your day. So there's no real reason ever <laughs> to push yourself in this practice beyond what feels challenging to you because the whole purpose of this practice is to be in it and to journey through it, not to rush to a place because once you get there, you'll realize you have a lot more to learn and that you want to go deeper. So be in that growth mindset, allow yourself space to grow. Take an inhale here. Exhale, soften, see if you can drop your head a little bit. One more inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Look forward, slither forward, hips drop to the mat, press into the forearm, sphinx pose. Shoulders stack over your elbows, actively press your L shape of your pointer finger and your thumb into the mat, take a big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. One more inhale here, spread through the chest. Exhale, actively pull your shoulders back. And then gently lower down onto the mat, hands come underneath and press back to a seat. Awesome, so I want you to grab your towel or strap or I have a ribbon because I have no idea where my strap is. Um, and we're gonna set that out in front of you. You can sit with your toes tucked or not. So we're reaching the strap out in front of you. I'll demo this from the side. And as we go through this, I want you to think about stabilizing the ribs down, tucking the tailbone under. So you're gonna take your strap and have a really taut grip on it. And from here, we're gonna start to reach the strap overhead. You can even wind around your hands and we're gonna bring it so that the strap is on top of your shoulders. From here, we're gonna take small flosses bringing the strap forward and back. As you do this, think about hugging your shoulders back and down your spine, breathing here for four, three, two, on one strap comes down. If that felt tight, we're gonna take our hands a little bit wider. I want you to keep a really taut grip on the strap. From here, we're gonna inhale, strap comes up overhead. Exhale, start to press the strap behind you, threading it all the way down. Inhale, strap rises. Exhale, reach it down in front of you. We'll do two more of these called shoulder flossing. It's really good for the shoulder joint. Inhale as you rise. Exhale as you press it back behind you. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale as it descends. One more time. Inhale, strap reaches up. Exhale, press it back behind you. Last time, inhale, we rise. Exhale, strap comes down. 
from here. I want you to reach out your hands out in the opposite direction. We'll take eagle arms on the right. So your right elbow is gonna come underneath your left. Optional grab for opposite shoulders or bring your palms together. From here, big inhale, lift your elbows, lift your chest, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bow forward, hugging your chin and towards your chest. Two more like that, inhale as we rise. Exhale, melt it down. Last time, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, come up. We'll take a big stretch, reaching your arms in opposite direction. This time, eagle arms on the left. Left arm comes underneath, option for opposite shoulders or grab for hand to hand. Elbows come in line with the shoulders, shoulders reach back and down. Take an inhale here, lift your gaze, lift the elbows, little back bend, exhale, bow forward. A lot of us work on computers or stare at screens all day. Um, so this is a really good stretch. Continue to breathe through this as I talk um, to do for your thoracic spine. So we do a lot of hunching over things. This is helping us open that up in a really supportive way. Last time. Inhale, we rise, open your pinkies out in opposite directions. Reach your hands behind you, come up onto your fingertips. I want you to pull your chest through, allow your head and neck to fall back behind you. And maybe you stay here today. Maybe you walk your hands in towards your feet. Maybe you start to press your hips forward a little bit, kind of like a shallow camel. But if you do that, I just want it to be all about the glute strength so you can open up through your chest. We're really supported by the lower body, breathing wherever you are for three, two, on one, hips find your heels. Awesome, so we should be really open through the upper spine, feel free to grab a drink here. So we're gonna work on a few drills to support your inversion practice. Um, so we've done a lot of tricep and shoulder work today. We should feel really open through there, strong through the core. Um, the first drill we're going to do is dolphin pose. So we've done this a few times. Um, if you have, we're gonna do it without a block, but if you do have a block at home and you ever wanna practice dolphin and feel really stable, bringing the block to the L shape of your pointer finger and your thumbs is a really great option. But we're gonna practice without the block today. So I want you to come back to your tabletop position. We're gonna lower from your tabletop position where your hands are. I want you to put your elbows there. Your arms are gonna be parallel. I want you to tuck the toes. From here, start to hover the knees up off the mat and breathe here. I want you to press your shoulders back, pull your hips back, take an inhale. On your exhale, straighten through the legs, dolphin pose. From here, maybe this is where you stay today. Maybe you walk your feet a little bit closer. The closer you walk your feet, the more weight you're gonna have from your hips onto your shoulders, onto your hands. As you walk forward, you might notice that your shoulders hinge forward, hinge forward, push them back, pull your chin in. We breathe here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, lower knees to the mat. We'll take a child's pose, reach your fingertips forward, take a big inhale here. Exhale, forehead melts down to the mat. We're gonna go through dolphin pose one more time with an option to remove a leg. So think like three-legged dog, three-legged dolphin. Come back to that quadruped position, hips stack over knees, shoulders over elbows, tuck the toes, press your hips up and back, pull your chin through, find your dolphin position. Maybe you start to walk your feet a little bit closer. On your inhale, option to reach the right foot high. We're gonna breathe here for four. Hug your chin in towards your chest, press your chest through right here for three. Two, on one, right foot lowers, left foot rises. We breathe here for four, three, two, on one, knees go out wide, embryo pose this time, like child's pose, but we're gonna reach the fingertips towards the back of the mat. Take an inhale here, exhale, let it go. Gently start to rise. So today we're gonna to practice setting up for closed grip headstand. So I want you to think about dolphin. I'm gonna bring our hands out like we would in dolphin pose. And then I want you to bring your hands together to make this grip. 
So notice that your arms are pretty parallel to each other. We have this basket grip at the top. You can interlace your fingers if you want or just cup hand into hand. From here, when we go upside down, there's three things you need to think about in every yoga posture, um, especially inversions. The first is your foundation. So the foundation of our posture today is going to be in the base of our forearms, our shoulders, and a little bit your head. So I want you to think about 70% of your weight in your shoulders, about 30% of weight in your head. I want you to take your thumb and you're gonna put your thumb to the mid center of your forehead, your third eye center, reach back with your pointer finger and find that spot on your head. It's gonna be, if you have a ponytail above your ponytail, if you don't, no worries, but that's kind of where we want your head to be. That's gonna be our foundation, hands like this, cupping the head. The second thing is your core. So I want you to think a lot about core activation, pulling your core up and in. The third thing is going to be your drishti, your gaze. Your eyes really need to be open. Um, it helps so much with balance. So we're gonna set up from here. I want you to find that base on your mat, cupping your hands together, and then your chin will tuck in towards your chest. And I want you to bring your head down to the mat in between your hands. And we're setting up in the same position we were before in dolphin, but this time your head is down. From here, this is the only thing you have to do today. From here, tucking the toes, press the hips up towards the ceiling. So you're in dolphin, support a headstand slash dolphin with your head. From here, option to stay. Maybe you lift one foot. Maybe you lift the other. And maybe you practice just a little bit of a tap off of your bottom foot. Less like a jump, but we should be pretty open through the hamstrings and play around. If you feel empowered to go all the way up, feel free if you wanna to move to a wall. We're gonna play around with this for a few rounds of breath. If you need a reminder, hands cup coming around the head, they come down about 70% of weight in your shoulders, walk your feet in, maybe you lift one foot, maybe the other, maybe you play around with coming all the way up. And maybe today your feet are just on the ground where they will be. Wherever you are, we're gonna breathe here for four, three, two, on one. Gently find your way down, walk yourself up to bring your head above your heart, bring your hands to the top of your thighs, close down your eyes. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to heart center, take an inhale. Exhale, press them away from you, revisiting cat back from the beginning of class. On your inhale, we rise, heart peels through, open up. Exhale, cactus bones, baby back bend. Hands come out to the side, roll onto one hip. Send your legs out in front of you. And then we'll draw sole of the right foot in towards the left leg. Grounding through the left hand or left elbow. We'll take a big inhale, right arm sweeps up high towards the ceiling, gentle side bend towards the left. Some options here, you can reach your right hand back in space. You can reach it over towards the left side. You choose, we breathe here for three. Two, on one, right hand stays out wide, right hand lands, press your hips forward, open up, joyful pose, expand backward, take up space. Exhale, slowly melt your way down onto the mat. We're gonna keep that left hand reaching, reach your right hand forward, take an inhale here. Exhale, lower down towards your left leg. Gently start to walk your hands back towards you. We'll switch out the legs this time. Sole of left foot comes in towards the right thigh. Right elbow or right hand comes down on your inhale. Left arm peels up high towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale here, expand, open up. Exhale, gentle side bend towards the right. Think about peeling your left shoulder back and down your spine. One more inhale as you reach up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, keeping the left arm out wide, plant the left hand outside of your hip, press your hips forward onto your left shin, joyful pose, take up space, maybe even be a little dramatic with it. Big inhale through the chest. Exhale, sweep the right hand across the body, turn your torso to face your right leg, take an inhale, exhale, melt down. Grab for whatever's accessible to you. Maybe it's the back of your thigh. 
it doesn't always have to be your toes. I feel like people have this obsession with either with telling yoga teachers that they can't touch their toes, but like, it really doesn't matter. Touching your toes is not going to make you good at yoga. It's not going to make you a better person. It also is not even going to deepen this hamstring stretch for you. So maybe it means you bend your knee. Maybe you grab her behind the hamstring. You pick, you be where you need to go. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Gently walk your hands back up towards you. We're going to send both feet in front of you. Create a bend in the knees. Take an inhale, really active through the core. Exhale, slowly lower down onto the mat. When you arrive on the mat, start to walk your heels in towards your hips. From here, we'll set up for bridge pose. Stream your fingertips down towards your heels. On your inhale, press your hips up towards the ceiling, bridge pose. Actively hug your inner thighs together, gazes up towards the ceiling, just here for three. Opening up through the front line body, option to bring your hands together to open the chest here for two. Last inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. Option for one last posture here. Option for a double wind removing pose, grabbing for the knee. Maybe you take happy baby, grabbing for the bottoms of the feet. Wherever you are, allow the entirety of your spine to be totally grounded into the mat. Maybe adding a little bit of movement if you have that support. And then gently start to draw your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your fingertips around, grabbing for opposite elbows. Tuck your chin in. Take a big inhale here. Fill up. Exhale to Shavasana. Allow yourself to take up space. Allow the ground to hold you up. Trusting that whatever you've brought to your practice today has been enough. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you need. Traditionally, it's about two minutes. Um, the beauty of a home practice is you can stay in Shavasana for two minutes, 22 seconds, it's up to you. Um, if you're ready to close out your practice today, you can stay in Shavasana. You can come to a comfortable seat, whatever feels good. We're gonna close with a communal breath. So I want you to draw your hands to heart center. Soften down your eyes and take an exhale here to create some space. Then inhale, breathe in, fill up. Exhale, let it go. I bring my hands to heart center, then to third eye center, the seat of intuition. And bow to you saying, Loka, Samasta, Suki, No, Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. And may my thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.